the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From the Pasadena Civic Center in Pasadena, California, it's your host, Dan Kroll. Hello. How are you? I am fabulous. How are you? I'm fine. So, I'm better yes. now. I'm actually better now. <laughs> I love the tie. Thank you. Oh, look how beautiful is that? Thank Very you. unique. I love I mean, it's been three years since there's been a red carpet. I've got to do something. No, and I'm, for, you know what's happening to me is I'm seeing men in suits, and it's just beautiful. I love that, the tailored suit. So, it's only, anyway. It, no, it's only funny because I was telling that a couple of years ago, we were told not to tell people that they look good in their outfits because it was objectifying, it was rude, and now you're coming over and you're objectifying me. I rather like it. Thank you. Uh, it's kindness. We have to remember to be kind to each other. It's just kindness. And it feels good letting your brother know, hey, you look good. I think it's important, especially after everything that we have gone through, uh, to not take anything for granted. Absolutely not. Each moment is a gift. Each moment Unless is a gift. Unless that gift is the gift of marriage. <laughs> oh, oh. To the wrong person. I mean, well, who's in love with someone else and who dated my other daughter. Now he's dating my younger daughter. I mean, hmm. It's just like. Every other it's a little complicated. It it's a little is. complicated for a mama. Was there anything that complicated on As the World Turns off the top of your head? Like any of those convoluted, like. Yeah, it mean, turned out so I was a Dixon. I come to town in love with Big Ben, and then, hey, I'm a Dixon, and I have a baby! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I mean, it, it, it feels like, you know, this, the great thing about soaps is that there's always some sort of surprise that we may or may not see coming. But see, that's the whole point why we watch, isn't it? We, it's a distraction from life, from current life. It's a moment to check out. It's also a moment to check in with your family, to talk about it with your family. I, all of my family is in North Carolina. and it, Some of mine is as well. We'll talk about that later. Yes. But we all communicate together and we say, did you see Cassandra? What's going to happen? And that's a sense of community. And that's valuable. It's so valuable. I will say that this family in North Carolina may or may not have called me and wanted to know <laughs> if your character was or was not allegedly a hussy. Me? I'm like, she's a doctor, she can't. I'm a mother. Oh, you're a mother. Put yourself in my shoes. Someone who dated my other daughter, it's just a mother putting her finger on the scale, and that's okay. She's got baggage, we all have baggage, and this is how she's working it out. That's the fun part of it. You don't know how she's gonna work it out. Speaking of not knowing how people are going to work things out, yes. I have questions that have been submitted from stars of all of the shows who could not be here. Is that true? It is. And they're on these cards. Oh! Pick one. Hmm. And see what happens. What would you be doing if you weren't an actor? I would be... Train, I would be a deep sea diver and I would be working with injured uh, aquatic, animal, aquatic animals, especially whales. I would be her re rehabilitating them. Um, that would be my gig. In addition to, I'm also a dog trainer and um, I would be working with animals in some form. That's my other bliss acting and animals. You can't go wrong with animals, they teach us more than sometimes we want to be taught. <laughs> or they're waiting for us to catch up. I don't know which one, so. Uh, before I let you go, because, you know, it's been a while since we've red carpeted, yes. uh, I wanted to give you an opportunity, okay. 30 seconds to hour long, to give a chance to say anything that you want. You can ask me a question, you can ask other people questions, you can speak to somebody, you can give a message to the fans, anything that you want, the mic is yours, and go. Hey mom, I love you, and it's because of you Granddaddy Whitley, Grandma Ella, I'm standing on your shoulders. Hey, Glenn, thank you so much for the sacrifices that you've made. Each day is a gift, and I love you so much, and I appreciate you so much. Keep smiling and keep your head up. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.